Hello people. Okay, so I wanted to make this video this way because I want to talk about some of the features that I've been working on, which are not very Super Metroid related, but it uh, might help us create interesting new world for Samus to play around with, or basically for us to play around with. <laughs> this is going to be a quick overview of these new systems. It's nothing... Uh, it's not going to take very long at all, so don't worry. Uh, I'll make more in-depth videos at a later time. I will upload this version uh, with everything in it so that you guys can play around with this stuff and, you know, have fun. Okay, so we're going to talk about Samus's Collision. We're going to talk about the door transition system, and we're going to talk about the room generator. So, first of all, the capsule component, uh, the collision. Um, I left it on just so we could look at it. Okay, so basically, her com her capsule now adjusts to her different animation. It's not perfect, uh, and I'm sure um, you'll find the certain things that don't work properly or should be changed. But we're not going to talk too much about that. For now, uh, it works pretty well. And um, I'll polish it off at a later time. Uh, the same goes for ha her animations. They're not all there. She's missing a lot of animations or frames, spray frames, because, well, I was working on other things. Anyways, not a big deal. Um, what I really want to talk about is the door transition system and the room generator. So the door transi transition system as you can see, you can step on it, it blocks you. Um, it comes with a camera blocker, so I can't see what's in the other room. While if I get far enough, my camera will still track my uh, my character. Okay, so this is a really cool system. And aside from that, it does what it should, which is to let Samus go from one side to the other. It blocks um, projectiles. Okay, we hear it. Um, now, oh well another cool thing to know is that it doesn't stop your velocity, so if you were to do the sprint mechanic, you can sprint through the door, no problem. Um, the camera blocker is these two box components, and these guys can be adjusted as needed, so you can mess around with that. Uh, you can mess around with the color. Uh, I forgot to add the uh, the option to change the color of the the doorway thingies. Uh, I'll I'll add that before I upload it, so you'll be able to change the colors. Um, and for the door generators, another cool thing is that um, well, as you can see, I'm working from the front view, and my assets all snap to that view. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to show. Uh, so they're always going to be on the same number. The door's on 5 just so that the uh, character can move around a bit. Now the door generator, we're going to go in a new level. Uh, no, I don't want to save. And the room generator, which is more of a platform generator, kind of. That can be turned into a room. Uh, show unlit. So, first of all, again, you can change your color. Yay! And this is basically... Okay, the thing. The first thing is you don't want to touch the first keyframe. Okay, but the, the next one is the one you want. So, as you can see, this is what it does. Very cool thing. Um, here. And the cool thing is it's going to adjust to whatever size a sprite you have. So, if you have really long platforms is going to adjust to that and um, yeah so you can really uh, quickly iterate between levels using this guy so let's say I had a, uh, a kind of level like I had in the other one I just go up add another one another one uh, and another one here and then this up 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 
And as you're going to see, everything snaps together very nicely. Uh, I think it's this one. Oh, I'm one too short. Uh, there we go. And, whoops. <laughs> I need to be inside of my... Uh, come on. And there we go, just like that I have a, a room. Right? Isn't that cool? Pretty cool stuff. And another cool stuff about this that I want to say is that the horizontal components are come with a tag floor and the vertical ones come with a tag wall. So those guys are walls and the guys underneath me uh, are floors. Okay. So, you know, you can do a lot of things with that. And uh, again, they automatically snap to the Y always on the zero so that you don't have to deal with that axis at all. Just worry about the X and Z axis and work from the front view. Get a really cool and easy tool to iterate uh, between your levels. Okay, so now we're just going to quickly add a door. The thing about the door is you need to add a wall. I mean, for obvious reasons, like if, if you don't have a wall, <laughs> you can just walk to the other side. Of it. Oh, that's not good. I never saw that happen. I got stuck there. That was scary. So don't put things where she can't fall through, <laughs> as you saw. <laughs> she does not like that. Oh, a little bit lower. Uh, where's my finger? I'll put this on 10 now. Oops. And, uh, oops. I'm not going to bother changing the color. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so there we have it. Samus has a level or two rooms that she can transition with. That was done super easily. Um, so that was the features that I wanted to talk about. And um, I'm going to say that some of the things that I plan on working next are probably going to be an enemy blueprint, something simple. Um, and then from there, we'll see. I probably will have to take a small break from working on this, but I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. And uh, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this also. Alright, take care. Bye.